A priceless masterpiece is coming to Columbus, Ohio. Our city will be one of only three cities in America to have been given the opportunity of hosting a world-famous Guinarius violin, played by the virtuoso Niccolo Paganini. Thanks to the Greater Columbus Sister Cities Exchange Program with Genoa, Italy, we'll have the honor of showcasing this renowned musical instrument known as Il Canone. At 8 p.m. on the evening of Wednesday, May 15th, Columbus Symphony Concertmaster Joanna Frankel will perform with the 276-year-old Il Canone Violin. This magnificent instrument will also be on display at the Columbus Museum of Art from May 11th through May 19th and open for public view. Built by Bartolomeo Giuseppe Guaneri in the 18th century, this violin is known for its powerful tone and was owned by Genoa's Niccolo Paganini. Paganini is recognized as one of the finest violinists who ever lived, known for his incredible flexibility and ferocious devil-like playing. Paganini's seemingly unnatural ability was a result of Marfan syndrome, a rare disease of the connective tissue that can prevent the body from developing correctly. But the disease, in some respects, turned out to be a gift, enabling his exceptionally long fingers to play three octaves across four strings and a handspan, an extraordinary feat even by today's standards. Paganini was born in 1782 in Genoa, Italy. His strict father forced him to practice from morning until night, sometimes 15 hours a day, withholding food and water if his practice fell short of his exacting standards. By the age of eight, he was performing in public, and at 13, he was sent away to a conservatory where his teachers confessed they had nothing to offer the prodigy. As a young man, he had a difficult time managing his unusual musical gift and the wealth and fame that came with it. During his career, Paganini traveled throughout Europe, playing in Vienna, London, and Scotland, finally ending in Paris. His soulful playing often brought audiences to tears, yet he could also perform with such force and velocity that one listener became half-crazed, claiming that he had seen the devil alongside Paganini. At age 52, Paganini returned to Genoa and devoted much of his time to perfecting his technique and working on more than 200 musical compositions for the violin and orchestra, guitar and mandolin. But if the devil was in his music, it also appeared in his life. In 1836, by then a troubled gambler, he returned to Paris and opened a casino, only to see it fail and find himself in financial ruin. Despite his troubles with gambling debts and lingering health problems, Paganini was still able to impress a generous patron who gave him the now famous Guinarius del Gesù violin. Paganini loved its powerful tone and called it My Canon, and today it is known as Il Canone. The devil legend persisted because of his powerful playing. It was further heightened because of his refusal of last rites on his deathbed. The controversy lasted a long time, further shaping the reputation of this famous musician from Genoa. Today, it is one of the most celebrated instruments in the world, a national treasure in our sister city of Genoa, on permanent display in the city's majestic Palazzo Doria Turzi. Paganini's violin was built by Bartolomeo Giuseppe Antonio Guaneri del Gesù, born in 1698 in Cremona, Italy, into a family known for their craftsmanship of concert-quality violins. Giuseppe emerged as the premier violin maker in his family and built his instruments during the golden age of violin making in the 18th century. The violins Guaneri built from the 1720s through the 30s were some of his best made instruments, save for the quality of his finishes. At the time, his major competitor was Antonio Stradivari, a more business savvy maker with access to finer woods. Guaneri worked hastily. His violins had slight imperfections on the scroll and he experimented with F-holes that were somewhat elongated and irregular. Unable to afford some of the same materials as his competitors, he crafted most of his instruments from wood taken from old barns and other old structures. His spruce tops were typically thicker than the strads, thus creating a darker, more powerful musical tone. In 1743, Guaneri built Il Canone. Resplendent with its imperfections and irregularities, it became Paganini's favorite violin and today one of the most renowned instruments in the world. 
Guaneri signed his instruments with the Del Jesu label, literally meaning of Jesus. Come and see it for yourself at the Columbus Museum of Art and hear it played by one of Columbus' best on May 15th with the Columbus Symphony Orchestra. So, see you there. See you there.